What's good guys and today I'm going to be showing you what I store in my camera bags when I shoot football and basketball videos. I have a shoot coming up with the Monty Bates soon so I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in my camera bags when I go on that shoot. I'll also show you the difference between that and my football bag so let's jump right into it. So this is the camera bag that I use. This is the Low Pro Fast Pack BP 250 AW Mark II. So the reason I use this bag is it's also a camera bag and it also has some compartments for other things like media passes, pens, anything like that. And I mean, especially for football, I would generally carry a rain jacket with me and it has a compartment to do that. So that's super helpful, which is the main reason I chose this bag. It's also Low Pro, so I mean, it's really good quality and I can store just enough camera gear in there that I'm fine. I mean, I can't store my Sony FS100 in there, but I would normally carry that around in a separate case. So I can fit two DSLRs and about four lenses in there, so that's really good. And then I have more spaces for microphones, extra batteries, and stuff like that. So now I'm gonna show you what cameras I put in that bag. So I got the Canon 60D, which I keep, and then I also keep a Nikon D3300. I keep the 60D mostly for photos because I like the Canon color science on skin and everything. And it has the flip screen, which is really good if you're like shooting above people or like trying to get a team huddle. And then I carry the D3300 if I need video because this can actually shoot 60p at 1080. So I can actually get some slow motion on this because my Sony FS100 also shoots 60p. So if I want some slow motion, if I'm using this stationary or I can use this stationary, just set it up and get a bit of slow motion, I use this, so I just travel with this and I only carry two lenses with this one. So now I'll show you the lenses that I carry. So I carry my Tamron 70-300 lens, which is brilliant. This is an EF mount, so this either goes on my Canon 60D or I have a Metabones adapter for my Sony. So I always keep this. This is sharp and it has good autofocus, so I love this lens. This is brilliant. The next lens is the Canon 75-300. This isn't as sharp of a lens or anything, but I keep this so I can also have another telephoto. Because if I'm using one on my Sony, for instance, I need another telephoto to be able to put on my 60D. So I always carry an extra one because I might always need telephoto. My next lens is just a Rinky Dink 28-80. This is not a great lens at all, but it's a wide lens. So this is what I need if I'm trying to get a team huddle or something like that, so I can get up close in the action. And 80 is telephoto enough. It's not telephoto at all, but it zooms in enough and 28 is wide enough for what I need. 18 is too wide. So this is just about what I need. Ideally, I would have a 24 to 105, but a bit pricey. So that's it for my Canon lenses. Now onto Nikon lenses. So for Nikon, I keep my 1855 kit. This is actually a very sharp lens and it's pretty wide. So if I need something very wide, this is normally what I'll use. Also, if I'm using my Ronin S, I'll normally fly my D3300 at 60 frames per second with my 1855 because the wide I can get everywhere. And if I close down the aperture, normally I don't have to worry about focus too much because Nikon does not have good autofocus at all. So I generally will just throw that on the Ronin. Now for telephoto for Nikon, I have my 5200. I love this lens. I've used this for portraits, everything. I've beat the crap out of this lens. The rubber is starting to peel off the focus ring and everything like that, but it's a great lens and I've always carried it in my bag. So I just need a telephoto for my Nikon if I need it. Now I need to show you what I shoot most video on, which is my Sony FS100. I use this camera because it has a nice sensor and it has good dynamic range, 60 frames per second, and it's a nice form factor to my hands. And I can mount things to it, it's very versatile, and I can mount monitors, magic arms, stuff like that. So I generally use that. On the bottom of the camera, I keep my Davison Sanford tripod plate because I carry around my Davison Sanford Pro Vista tripod. So that is normally what I'll keep it on because it's a big sturdy tripod. It can hold a lot of weight and it has a big fluid head. So no matter how much I build up my camera, if I put follow focus, matte box, all that stuff on there, it will always support it. It has a nice metal fluid head and a nice metal plate. So I always can feel safe that the camera won't fall off. I bring my Sony FS100 around with a Porta brace over the shoulder case. I use this because I don't have to take apart the camera every time, which can take quite a bit of time. So this way I can just put it in, maybe move the monitor a bit, maybe take the mic off. But besides that, I'm all right. And it also has two ways of carrying it. So if I'm carrying it on my shoulder, I can do that, or I can carry it with my hand with the two smaller handles. So it's not only one way of doing it, 
the advantage of this over a Pelican case is the Pelican case is one, heavier, two, it's a bit smaller, and you have to take the whole camera apart if you're traveling with it, but it is also much safer, waterproof and fireproof, all that jazz. I store a lot of extra batteries in the side, which are NPF batteries. I use these for the camera and the monitor, which is nice because they both use the same. So for memory, I use a 128 gig 10 speed card. I also have an FMU, which stands for flash memory unit, which is Sony's other alternative to having memory in there. The downside of this is if I use slow and quick mode, it can't record onto it. So I have to set my main frame rate to 60 frames per second all the time to record on both. I always shoot on two types of memory because I had this one shoot about a couple months ago where I put the footage onto a hard drive off of the SD card, then I formatted the SD card and the hard drive went corrupt and I lost all this footage and it was a one-time shoot opportunity, it was an anniversary. I was getting interviews from family and friends and it wasn't something I could reshoot. But luckily I had my FMU in the camera so I knew that I had a backup of the footage so since then I'll never stop recording to that and I won't format it until the video's done. So that's also helpful. So combined, I have 256 gigs of media, which is perfectly fine. So for Nikon lenses that I use on my Sony, right now you're looking through the 28 to 80 Sigma. So I generally use this if I need a bit of a wider shot. It also is a macro lens, so that helps getting detail for B-roll and stuff like that. So that's generally what I keep on the camera. And then on the side, I keep my Metabones adapter. I can put any of the lenses that I carry in my backpack in there. So this is mostly all the gear that I use for football and basketball video and photo. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll probably be uploading more often, not just videos that I make onto this channel. So if you have any ideas, either tell me in person, drop them in the comments, stuff like that. I hope this video helped if you're considering cameras. If you want me to do a review on the camera, I might do a review on my Sony FS100 soon. So if you want to see that, let me know. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below, like the video, and share it. I hope you have a good rest of your day. See ya.